you know nanoparticles are everywhere? Food, cosmetics, medicine, electronics, sunscreen, and name them all. Moreover, face mask is a necessity in the midst of pandemic. But have you ever wondered what comprises face mask that helps in reducing the transmission of infectious agents? Join us as we delve and explore further the world of Nano! This is Nanoparticles Explained! The question is, have you ever seen a nanoparticle? Nanoparticles are very, very small, smaller than small, and tinier than small. They cannot be able to be perceived by your naked eyes. A nanoparticle is any particle that ranges between 1 to 100 nanometers in size. Come to think of the width of a single hair, divided by 100 times. That's how small nanoparticle is. And if you are comparing the diameter of a nanoparticle to a diameter of a basketball, it's just like comparing the diameter of a basketball to the diameter of the Earth. Well, let's have a little throwback. Modern nanotechnology may be quite new, but nanometer scale materials have been used for centuries. American physicist Richard B. Feynman is considered the father of nanotechnology. He introduced the ideas and concepts behind nanotech in his well-known 1959 talk titled, There's Plenty of Room at the Bottom. Here are the three uses of nanoparticles in our daily lives. First, consumer products. Nanoparticles can contribute to stronger, lighter, cleaner, and smarter surfaces and systems. They are being used in the manufacture of scratch-proof eyeglasses, crack-resistant paints, anti-graffiti coatings for walls, transparent sunscreens, and stain-repelling fabric. Second, food. According to European Union Observatory for Nanomaterials, nanomaterials and nanotechnology have the potential to bring many benefits to the food sector. They can create lighter, stronger, and more durable packaging to longer keep our food fresh and to reduce weight. Nanomaterials can also be used to enhance the taste, the flavor, and the availability of nutrients in the food we eat. Third, environment. Nanoparticles could be used in water treatments such as in the generation of fresh water from sea water, the prevention of environmental contamination, and the creation of remediation techniques to reduce water and soil pollution. Nanoparticles are ubiquitous and have been all around us throughout human history. The more we turn our microscopes on everyday objects, the more nanoparticles we seem to find. Even the simplest thing can change the world. Why is something so small so big? 